We all agree, I hope, that our place names are precious. But the publicity that this area has experienced recently because of its name has been so valuable. My name is Tidder Owen, and I think our place names are important because they not only tell us where we are, but possibly who we are. Banal Brecheniog, the Brecon Beacons. One ancient and one more recent name, but both used by us depending on which we're accustomed to. The National Park has decided that it will be their custom from now on to use only the original Welsh name. And it's fair to say this has been the cause for some quite lively debate. So I've come for some shelter to this ancient Iron Age hill fort called Twin Agair. And I'm going to take a closer look at what we call this special area. Let's start with Banal. It's the plural of Ban, which can mean headland or high point or peak, amongst other things. But in this instance, it refers to a very distinctive range of mountains, each with its own enchanting name. Van Gehirich, Van Vraith, Van Neth, Van Dringarth, and the tallest and most celebrated, Penavan. What about Brecheniog? Well, it's the name of an ancient kingdom, and it means Brechan's land. In fact, there's a poem from the year 600 which mentions Glad Brechan. It's that old. Brechan was a king of Irish descent, and some say his name would have originally sounded more like Brocan, which comes from the word Brock, meaning badger. There are others who say that it makes use of the word Brich, meaning freckled or speckled, but in this case referring to the king's robes. This kingdom was called Garth Madrin, and it was ruled by Teudric. His daughter, Marchell, married an Irish prince called Anlach. They had a son, Brachan. And when he became king, Garth Madrin was renamed Brachainiog. I wonder how lively the debate was about that decision. But what about the English name? Well, the first half is simple enough because, as often happens, what we see here is an anglicised form of the Welsh name. Brecheniog becomes Brecknock, which is then shortened to Brecon. The meaning of beacons is a little more ambiguous because there's absolutely no proof that any fires were lit on these peaks to warn of invasion. But a map from 1729 calls Penavan the Van and Brecknock Beacon, drawing attention to the fact that this particular ban or peak is the most prominent and stands out from the rest like a beacon. Whether you use banal or the beacons, I think the important thing to remember is that it's a choice and that it's our choice, the people of Wales. Has Brechan's story helped you make your choice? I hope so. It certainly helped one of our national authorities to make their choice because this most precious and ancient landscape and its name will continue to be cared for by Banal Brecheniog National Park. Yeah.